Hey, what's happening, peeps? This is Carlton Lewis, a.k.a. Mellow Melanin, a.k.a. Mega Businessman, coming to you live and direct from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm just on the outskirts of Atlanta. If you can see this in the background, it's the Renaissance Waverly Hotel and Conference Center. It's one of my favorite spots in Atlanta for a lot of different reasons. Um... One of the main reasons I like it because it's like wealthy. It's like a lot of money over here, man. A lot of money flowing around over here. But I made this video. I'm making this video today, right? I'm going to talk to you guys about comparitis and comparing your worst to somebody else's best. And, you know, this topic just came came up to me. Like, what am I going to do a video on today? And I wanted to talk about that because sometimes when you're comparing yourself to other people it causes inaction it causes inaction and that's something that you don't want to have you want to be consistent and you want to be concerned with your results not someone else's results okay you want to be concerned with your results not someone else's results because you don't know how long it took for a person to get where they had to go um Big shouts out to Keisha Bass. Keisha Bass uh, said in a, a talk early at the beginning of this year that, you know, she's a top earner. You know, anything she touches turned to gold. But she, she admitted it hasn't always been like that. And she said she's been in the uh, network, marketing, network marketing, internet marketing space for about 10 years. 10 years. All right. And it took her time. It took over time. It's like this one book called The One Thing. A lot of things happen over time. They don't happen overnight. So if you're comparing your worst, like when you're getting started, because once you when you're getting started, one thing for sure, basically everybody starts off no matter what they're doing, pretty much crappy. And then you get a little bit better, and then you get a little bit better, and then you get fluent and proficient in what you're doing. So if you're comparing yourself to somebody else who's already went through those uh, learning curves, stumbling blocks you know setbacks then you know you're kind of selling yourself short and you're not really giving yourself a fair shot at doing it so don't compare yourself to anybody else don't compare your results to anybody else now what i would say is use use that person if they're a mentor a role model or whatever you know somebody that you admire use their results as an example of what is possible Okay, use their results as an example of what is possible. But remember, you have to be consistent. You have to take consistent, focused action to get the results. Okay, and it's all about results. You can see the manifestation of what your work, <laughs> your manifestation of your work is in your results. All right, so I'm not going to keep this video long. Just wanted to get that out. Uh, it was on my heart. Just wanted to share it. Hope you guys got some value out of it. If you did leave a comment below check like subscribe share it with somebody who may need this information you know and hopefully it touched you and if it did like i said like comment subscribe share it and make sure you check out www.whoiscarlton.com for more information on mindset leadership and marketing peace have a great day